Yo, what's up guys? It's me, Rob. Thanks for tuning in to the Rob's Knowledge YouTube channel. And today we're gonna to be showing you guys how to check the accuracy of your scale or the calibration of your scale when you don't have calibration weights. Now you can buy a set of calibration weights for about 20 bucks or so, and I'll put some links down below. But if you don't have any, I'll show you a quick way to check how accurate your scale is. So the accuracy can be pretty important, especially when you're buying jewelry or other valuable substances. And uh, we're gonna make sure that our scales are in tip top shape and weighing accurately. So for this, we're actually gonna just use some US currency. So there's a couple things we can use. We can use a dollar bill. We can use any of the coins really. Um, you're gonna wanna make sure though that these are in good shape. That's how you can reliably tell the weight of them. So we're gonna go through all the coins and tell you all the weights of all of those. So as you can see, we're in gram grams here. That's just gonna be the most accurate. So we're gonna start with the penny, of course which should be 2.5 grams. There we go, we got the 2.5 grams there. We're gonna go ahead and take that off. Next up we have our nickel, which should be an even 5.0 grams. Bada bing, bada boom, 5.0 grams. Our dime should be 2.3. And there we go, 2.3 grams for the dime in the quarter should be 5.6, just like so. And here's another quarter as well, 5.6. And then also all of the dollar bills should be one gram exactly. So there you go, and that's how you can tell if your scale is accurate or not. See if the calibration is up to par. Um, now this is only obviously for lower gram amounts, but you could stack these. Like for example, you could, if you need 100 grams, you could stack $100 bills or a combination of coins. Like you could put 20 nickels and that should be 100 grams. Or you can just play around with that to get the weight that you need. Um, if not, you can always, like I said, buy calibration weights and I'll put a link to those in the description. They're a great tool to have if you use your scale a lot. If this helped you out, guys, please smack the like button. It helps me out so, so, so much, guys. And um, comment down below if this helped you out, um, what you found out about it. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Check out some of my other videos and I will catch you guys later. Peace.